I'm back at one of the final qualifying venues for the Open Championship at St Andrews this year. We're down at St Anne's Old Links, which is in northwest England. And today I'm going to take on the challenge again. I'm going to play nine holes, the back nine here at St Anne's Old Links, to see how I would get on. Now, this is one of the courses that they're going to be playing 36 holes at for one of the 12 spots that will be available for the Open Championship. Generally, when people play here in Open Qualifying, eight under, seven under, six under gets in to go um, through. So I'm gonna probably have to look at shooting about two under. Last time didn't go too well for me at Fairmont. I shot five over par. I've done a little bit of practice since then. I know this course a little bit. It's been a couple of years since I've played it, but I have played it before. So hopefully we should do a little bit better. Let's see how we go and find out a little bit about the golf course. So we're on the 10th hole, it's 318 yards, this hole, a par four, a nice easy little start to the back nine. Well, I say easy, there's bunkers at 230 down the left-hand side, there's bunkers at 240 down the right-hand side, and then there's bunkers all the way in front of the green. So four iron down there for me, hopefully leave a wedge or a, a gap wedge in and just nestle myself nicely into this round. But I think two under should be my target, like I say, eight under for 36 holes two under a side. Let's see if we can do it. Wow, he's actually gone exactly where he aimed it. This is a fantastic start compared to the Fairmont vlog. Let's see if it can continue. 113 yards, just what I wanted. Actually down centre of the fairway as well, which after driving an hour and just jumping on the tee, I'm quite impressed with. So I'm gonna go 51 degree here, straight at it. I think that flag's in the middle. It's a blind approach, hopefully somewhere near and just settle in nicely to this round. It'll bounce right as it landed, not too sure, but might be a tad short. Not bad, wedge shot could have been a little bit closer, but for an opening hole. We will take our par, level after one. It's 11th hole, 348 yards. There's a couple of bunkers down the right, starting again at 240 and then going up to about 270. I think the, the thing I remember about this golf course, some of the par fours aren't overly long, but they're very well bunkered. And um, the rough at the moment isn't up. It's gonna be up when they come to final qualifying time. So I think it's just about getting it in play off the tee, not trying to just try and bully it into submission. If you can get it in play, I'm only generally going to have a wedge in on these short ones, try and make a score and then pot it around the rest of the, the nine holes. I'm going to go four iron again, try and get this about 220 down there. Just put it in the fairway. I'm just learning a little bit more about playing to my strengths, really. I'm good with my irons, so I don't mind hitting a seven iron in or whatever, because I know I can hit that decent and keep the four iron in play, so. He says as he hits it into the trouble left. <laughs> I've got to my golf ball. Luckily, like I say, rough's not up at the moment, but come open qualifying time, I reckon it'll be somewhere up round here. I've got 114 yards. These are the bunkers that I wanted to stay shy of, and as you can see there, perfect range three of them so it is well guarded this place you've got to make sure you're in play luckily rough's down for me i'm going to go 51 degree again let's see if we can get this one a tiny bit closer same yardage as last pretty much oh god that is just spun the club there it looked very inconspicuous but it grabbed my club and flipped it over Miss Green with a wedge. Can't be doing that, Matthew. And that is what we don't want. 
missing the green there with a, uh, a wedge 115 yards away. Tough clump here and very swaley, very narrow green as well. So I'll be surprised if I walk away with par, but you never know. One good shot here, I've really got to commit to this because this is super juicy rough. Well, that has come out remarkably well. Had to stay committed there. See if we can hold a putt. Come on, he can hold this. Perfect line, just under hit it by two feet. Well, blame the wedge shot for that one. Those are the mistakes that you can't make if you're in final qualifying. You can't give up easy shots like that. Okay, 12th hole, 411 yards, par four, straight down towards the greatest roller coaster in the world, the big one. Good drive here, pretty safe up the right hand side. So I'm just gonna go down the left with a little fade and get it working back. Oh, now we've got the left today. That is straight down the left. Seen it bounce a few times. That is wild. Early morning, no warm up is not the future of golf. Been a bit lucky today on these original tee shots. Just need to get loosened and get the body moving a little bit. Wind's off the right. Nice little nine iron here, center of the green. Let's see what we can muster up. That's nice. Oh, wind hit that a little bit. God. Pitched on the back of the green and just trickled off left edge. Hopefully it's safe. Just come off the side of the green here. The fringes though are that nice. I could probably put this pretty easily and not have any real drama. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll put it with it being early in the morning. Not quite having that touch. Very link styled shot, the putter off the green. Up and let it run. Just gonna move that way a bit. Travel, travel, travel. Oh, got snagged up here in the fringe, a little bit of dew on it. I should be chipping that really, but my game at the moment, I'm, I'm almost nervous playing this, thinking what, what the round's about and should have had the confidence then just to stand with a lob wedge of 56 and just chip it up to where my ball was, but let myself down. This is the sort of putt that will really breed confidence and get the, the round going. Thought I had that. That's two bogeys from nowhere. Thirteenth hole, strong par three. This one, two hundred yards. That's actually two twelve to the flag today. Straight up bunkers on both sides of the green. A tear in the middle of the green that's at like one ninety. So going four iron. Just make sure I get it all the way back there. Kickstart the rejuvenation here. wild Matt your swing is so bad at the minute just missed the green right it's gonna be a long nine holes okay so we've missed the green to the right it's pitched and run away from this bunker pitch just up here not that much away if it was five yards left in the trap but an easy ish pitch here about 25 yards just over the trap loads of green to work with so just gotta trust it and land it halfway Keep running, keep running. Bad about six foot, just on that twitchy bum yardage. All right then, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, what a save. What a save, that could be the start of the march. 14th hole, 375 yards. Bunkers at 290 down the right, 270 down the left, I'm gonna go just at the left ones and try and get this cut working. Feel the body just starting to loosen up. If we get this away, it should be a nice little pitch into the green, but let's give it a go. That's the fade we want. Just moving towards those traps. Yeah, should be good. Just found a way into the rough there, just pitched and run off the fairway. Luckily, it's only a, 
a flick. We've only got 82 yards into the hole. Think back to when they actually open qualifying here, I reckon the rough's going to be twice as thick. So that potentially could not be the shot. When you look at how wide that fairway is and how close the bunkers are, probably better off laying it back and having just a pitching wedge in instead of hitting drive. You could probably hit rescue or driving iron wedge instead of a drive being pretty decent and then finding the the cabbage here. Nice kick. Softly, softly, softly. Ah. Pitched on the front of the green and run quite a way back there. Oh, such an easy chip and quit on it. Quit on it again. Well, I've saved my bacon twice. Oh gosh, nearly fell and broke my face. Saved my bacon twice there. Uh, chipping then. I was just so unconvinced that I was gonna hit a good shot that halfway through just stopped on it. It's probably something that you can relate to, but Really need to get some reps in, build that confidence up and just trust, I think, is my big issue. Just letting the golf do the speaking instead of talking myself out of it all. But we've got a few more holes to go. A couple over from two sloppy bogeys at the moment. I think get a, get a birdie back under the, under the belt and we should see we've got two par fives to finish with as well. So let's see if we can get something going now and, and just trust a little bit more because my game's actually not too bad. I just need to believe in it a bit more. 15th hole, 381 yards. Pretty straight down this one. Bunkers out there around the green at 330 and then a couple at 250-ish. So a little bit down the left, let it work back in. Just keep trusting it. Get that trust, Matt. Come on, fade a bit more, fade a bit more. Yeah, it's down there, down the left-hand side of the fairway. Good hit. Nice committed swing that time. Right, got to the ball, just off the fairway. Good drive though. 80 yards. Gonna go 56 degree. These are the opportunities that I'd, if I were to enter, A, can't make bogey from here, but B, Really want to give yourself a good look at birdie. Wow, that's run on. It looks about pin high, but the wind pushed it right and came out with no spin. Oh, on we go. Right, run on a little bit more than expected there. Played it how I wanted, pitched it in line. <clears throat> With the flag, it kicked a little left, but again, coming out of that rough, no grip. So there is a, uh, a real extra point for being on that fairway. You've got to be on there to get any form of control coming into the greens. Break in, break in. Well, I hit that exactly where I thought that was going to go. Just didn't move one bit. It's a par, a couple of pars on the on a par streak, 172 yards for the 16th hole, par three. The flag is literally probably four paces off the left-hand side. There's bunkers all around this green. So it's not a flag that you should go at. It's downwind, 170, probably playing only 150 really. So I'm gonna get a nine iron out land it round about the 150 mark expecting it to to skip up quite a bit here I've almost gone too safe here it's on the right edge of the green oh it's just trickled off the back of the green there rolled up it was the right yardage if i would have hit it center i almost bailed out too much but hey ho see how devilishly uh, punishing this hole is. We've got one, two, three, four bunkers down the right, one, two, 
three bunkers down here, raised green, and then obviously just nothing around it. I've pitched somewhere up here and it's just trickled off the back. It's such a such a strong part of St Anne's that everything is so well plotted out. It's not just a uh, throw a bunker there. Everything's done with thought and you've really got to be very accurate around this golf course. Got a bit of room to work with here at least, just trickled into the bunker. It's pitched on the slope there and just run up. So a bit more centre, I was pin high and would have been okay, but let's see, like I say, a bit of room, just land it halfway and let it bounce up really. Go on, keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing. Oh, just caught that a little bit early. Just run shy of where I wanted. Good save again. Putters work nicely on those testing ones today. 17th hole, 550 yards, par five. Train track down the right. Every good links course have a train track down the right. Couple of bunkers down the left, but loads of room left. So just gonna hit it down there, let it fade back in, knock it on, hold the putt. That's the uh, the plan anyway. Straight down the middle of the fairway. Perfect, bouncing down in the fairway. Second fairway found, we've got 240 yards to go. So a good 310 whack down there into the crosswind. 240 still to go though. Pins right on the front. I think we're gonna go, I think you're gonna hit a little five wood because there's a few bunkers short. And then uh, this can hopefully get past them and leave me hopefully an eagle putt. Straight at it, needs to go though, it's climbed a little bit. Go on, kick up, kick up, please appear. Climbed a little bit into the wind, but I think we might have just crept onto the front edge. Nothing better than a walk up to the green on a par five when you've actually hit it in two. Possibly the best shot I've hit that of the day, two good shots really, just a little bit more commitment in those. And now we've got a good look for Eagle. Stay up, stay up, no! Literally the edge of the hole. Oh, that would have been mega to get back to level. Well, it's our first birdie folks. It took us eight holes to get it. Another par five. See if we can repeat the same task. The final hurrah, 18th, 503 yards, par five. Straight down into the corner again, train track running all the way along. Just gonna blast this down the left. There's a bunker at 270, so at that with a fade. Can clear it anyway and move it back to the fairway. Let's get this job done. A little bit more fade than I wanted. Just down the right side but it's bounced a couple of times. Just right at that trap should be okay. It's a blind shot into this 18th hole. There's a big mound as we can see up behind us and you can't actually see what's up there. There's some bunkering up on the left of the green and the flag's tight right. So good to know that because I thought that flag was middle. I've got 232. I'm gonna hit the same five wood again, but I'm gonna put a little bit more cut on it just so it takes that extra 10 yards off it but I can go up the uh the two houses we've got here the one that's next to the white one the the middle of the three houses I'm going to start it over that and let it fade back onto the flag should theoretically work for me oh no four four well, that wasn't any good, just pulled it straight left. Not the ideal shot there that we wanted. Big, big pull left, just doubted myself at the top of the swing again and got scared of the train track. 
and subsequently pulled it 40 yards offline. So gonna have to be one hell of an up and down now to get back to level. Right then, not where we wanted to be. Lucky to find it really. Um, I've got 50 up to the flag. I've got 35 to cover these bunkers and try and bounce it up basically. So it's more of a lob wedge gouge and hope here. It'd be some bloody up and down, I know that. That couldn't have come out any better. Nice bounce, nice bounce. Go on then, go on. It's a wonder shot. We've got about 20 foot for birdie. Well, that was a, uh, a get out of jail card there. Actually only about 15 foot for birdie. Weak, weak, sums everything up really. Well guys, it's a drastic improvement from the Fairmont score, one over total onto Hollingwell next. Guys, if you've enjoyed this round, hit that like button, subscribe and as well, a big thanks to St Anne's Old Links for having us down here. The course is unbelievable and I think it's only gonna get better leading up to the open qualifying. So if you have chance, if you're in the area, give Dan a call in the shop or Neil get down, come play, it is truly mega.